what's up guys it's josh back with another video and today i want to show you guys how to install virtualbox on fedora 35 So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys how to install VirtualBox on Fedora 35. Now, if you guys didn't know that VirtualBox is not included in the repository for Fedora 35. So you have to add the repository directly to Fedora. So that is the problem that a lot of people face when they get on Fedora and they want to install virtual machines of different operating systems on Fedora using VirtualBox. And I received questions about this in the past. Actually, there was a comment left yesterday where someone asked, can they, can I help them by creating a video walking through the process of installing VirtualBox on Fedora? So that's the motivation for me making this video. Video. So let's go on and hop over to my virtual machine so I can walk you guys through the full process. All right, guys, so I'm logged into my virtual machine. This is Fedora 35 with the known desktop environment. And I want to walk you guys through installing VirtualBox. And so the first thing I'm going to do is open up the terminal. And just so you guys know, I'll have all the commands in the description of the video that I'm going to run. Some of them I will copy. Most of them I will type in. But this is not a hard process. So I'll run through it pretty quickly. And like I said, I'll have the commands down in the description of the video. So it'll be easier for you if you're following along. You could just copy and paste it into your terminal. So let me zoom in right fast so you guys can uh, kind of see my screen fully. Actually, let's zoom in one more time. There we go. So you guys should be able to see exactly what I type in. And the first thing you want to do is upgrade your system. Uh, so if you haven't updated, updated your system or upgraded your system, then you want to run the DNF upgrade command. And that will update your system, make sure it has all the latest packages. So let's run that right fast. So sudo DNF upgrade. And this is just like on any other Linux distribution. You want to make sure before you install any new software on the system that the system is fully up to date, uh, at least until you get more familiar with the system and the way Linux works. <clears throat> So as you can see, the system is already updated and this is a fresh install of Fedora 35. And before I started this whole process, I went through and updated the system. I think it was like a thousand and some updates to the system. I didn't want to interrupt the video by going through a bunch of updates and then coming back to it. So I went on and did all that before we started. So once that's done, we want to add the kernel headers and the DK, DKMS. You wanna make sure you update your headers. So when you install VirtualBox, you can talk to the hardware properly. So that's the whole purpose of doing this. Now the command is simply sudo uh, DNF install. And then what we're gonna do is type kernel dash devil and then dash, and what we're gonna do is pull the information from uname dash or. So we can type in a dollar sign and then open up our brackets and then let's type uname and then dash or and then close our brackets and then space kernel dash headers and press enter and that should install our headers. And as you can see, we're good to go. It pulled it up uh, and we're gonna get those install right fast which they shouldn't take too long but if it does take a little time i'll skip ahead in the video all right cool so we have updated the system or updated the kernel headers and like i said that's so when VirtualBox is installed it can talk to the hardware of the system properly now we need to add the repository for VirtualBox so we can get it installed and this ties back to what i stated earlier VirtualBox is not part of the repositories 
for Fedora. So you have to add the Oracle repository so you can install VirtualBox on Fedora. And this is similar to adding a PPA on Ubuntu, but we're just doing the same thing on Fedora. So let me show you guys how to do that now. So basically we're going to create a repo file. So let's type sudo and then nano or whatever text editor you like to use. Some people like Vim, Vi, you know, use whatever text editor you want. Uh, nano is the easiest for me. So I always use nano, uh, especially when it comes to configuration files. So we need to create this repository file under etc. And then yum, uh, and then I'm gonna tab it out, but it's yum.repos.d. And then we just need to name the file. And that's one cool thing about Nano uh, and pretty much all the text editors. You can uh, type it out like this and it'll create that file for you if it's not there, which is repo file we're creating from scratch. So virtual box, and then you have to name it with the extension of repo and press enter and it'll create that file for us. All we have to do is edit it now. And one thing I did was I put the repo information in a text file uh, in my documents that I'll just open up so we could just paste that in there because uh, I don't want to go through the full process of typing all that in and potentially put typos in it. So let's uh, paste that in there. But this is essentially adding the repo with all the repo information. So Fedora, VirtualBox, this is the URL to the repository for Fedora and then uh, enable the GPG uh, check uh, one and GPG key. This is where the key is stored, which we haven't added to the system yet, but we'll add it next. So let's go down and save this. All I'm gonna do is hit control X and then it's gonna ask you at the bottom to save modify buffer all you have to do is type y and that'll save that and then let's press enter and that'll write that file out to that directory so we're good to go we have added the repository now we need to import the oracle public key and the command to do that is rpm and then dash dash imports and then uh, since we already had a key link and that's why I kind of did it this way uh, But this is the key link the GPG key link uh, So we can uh, paste that in behind here and that's basically all we're doing is adding that Oracle public key to the system. So let's press enter and it shouldn't take uh, Long oh and I apologize for that. But uh, what you need to do is run it as sudo that's why I failed uh, because you need to have sudo privileges or root privileges to actually run this and import this key. So let's press enter now and we should be good to go. Now let's go down and clear uh, our screen because we're basically done with adding the repository. Now, last step is to install VirtualBox. So let's run sudo DNF uh, updates and press enter. And this will update the system or check for updates and refresh that repository that we just added as well. Now we can install VirtualBox. So let's type sudo DNF install and VirtualBox. And you want to type it out uh, with the caps. So capital V uh, box dash uh, six dot one and press enter. And that'll install VirtualBox for us. Uh, let's just type Y for yes. Boom. It'll download the actual package and install it on the system. And this shouldn't take too long as well. But I'll skip ahead if it does take a little time, which it shouldn't. All right, cool. So once it finishes, it'll show you that it installed uh, VirtualBox as well as its dependency. So we get to go. Uh, we can exit out of our terminal uh, because now it is fully installed and I'm sure it won't work 100% properly on here because I'm running this within a virtual machine. So I can't go past um, showing you guys that the application is installed because every time I've ran virtual box within a virtual machine, I've had a whole bunch of issues that I could not figure out or solve to get it to work properly. 
uh, in which it's not really made to do that anyway. Uh, it's, it's really not really made to create a virtual box uh, instances or virtual machines within virtual box on a virtual machine. It's like a virtual machine inside of a virtual machine inside of a virtual machine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just it's just uh, overwhelming for the actual system. And every time I've tried it, I've ran into issues. But anyway, you have VirtualBox install and it's version 6.1. Uh, you can go through and create all your little virtual machines up in here. Uh, you're good to go. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And to the person that left a comment asking me to do a video on this, I definitely appreciate it. And I really wanted to provide this to you as soon as possible because I know it's it's kind of easy to look up this information, you know, on your own. But I know a lot of people, when you read the documentation, you know, it's kind of difficult to follow. But if you see someone actually doing it, that makes it a whole lot easier. So I definitely know the benefit of creating videos, showing people how to do tasks like this. But please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, I definitely appreciate it. My channel is all about the Linux operating system as well as open source software. I occasionally throw Windows videos on here as well because I am a database administrator that have been working in the IT field for a number of years. And most of the positions I've worked in has been a Windows environment. So I definitely want to throw some of that in there as well whenever I get the chance. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you leave comments down below if you have any questions i'm definitely here to help and i hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep it techy